Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and it certainly seems like 2015 is the year of the budget-priced but high-specification smartphone. And I must say a big, big thank you to Honor for sending me out their Honor 4X smartphone. This is coming in at under £150, SIM-free, unlocked, and it's got some fantastic specifications. I'm going to unbox it in this video, and then in the future, I will bring you a review to let you know what I think of it. But it's a really nice understated box in a nice bright cyan colour with the Honor branding just here and also embossed onto the top of the box as well. Really nice looking box. No details of the phone really at all. So let's open this up and have a look. And here is the actual smartphone itself, 5.5 inch screen, 1280 by 720 display. And it also houses a Kirin 620 octa-core processor running at 1.2 gigahertz. It's running Android version 4.4.2 KitKat with a lollipop upgrade to version five coming as well. So let's just put that to one side, have a look what else is inside the box. So we have got a little pack here, which is gonna have some paperwork in no doubt. Nope, that is completely empty. Okay, so that's just packing. And let's open this one up. I would imagine that there would be some paperwork in that when you buy this at retail level. This is a review unit. So let's open this package up and we have got a European charger. Uh, so two pin Euro charger with USB connection on this end. Again, I would anticipate if you buy this in the UK, you'll either get an adapter plug or you will get a UK USB charger. And then this cable here, I'm not even gonna take it out of the bag. This is just a full size USB to micro USB connector for charging the phone. So now let's have a closer look at the smartphone itself. And it looks really nice actually. Wow, I like that. So it's obviously a plastic back at this price point, but it's got like an etched sort of design or texture to it. That's really nice. Love it. We've got the Honor branding across the back as well. 13 megapixel rear facing camera with a flash. And then on the side, we've got the power on off button. We've also got the volume rocker, which is the same color as the casing so that's white as well really nice around the bottom edge you can see a pinhole microphone micro usb charging port and also a speaker this side is completely clear and then the top edge looks like we've got a secondary microphone and also a three and a half millimeter audio jack so let's turn this on for the first time and whilst this is starting up i'll tell you some of the other specifications uh, first of all just of note this has already got a screen protector applied to the front that's really nice. We've also got some uh, sensors in the front, obviously the earpiece. We've got a five megapixel front facing sensor there as well. And then we've also got some touch sensitive controls across the bottom of the device. So everything you need to sort of interact with the smartphone. Some of the other specifications inside, we've got a 3000 milliamp hour battery. That should keep it running for plenty of time. We've also got two gigabytes of RAM, so two gigabytes of memory, and then eight gigabytes of storage capacity. It supports a 32 gigabyte micro SD card as well. It's also a dual SIM device. So obviously the back must, there's no sort of slots on the outside, so the back must come off for you to be able to insert your uh, memory card and SIM card and it weighs just 170 grams. Now this is the white version as I showed you a little bit earlier. There's also a black version available as well. So we're at the startup screen so we can go into uh, I always scroll English United Kingdom and tap on next. Then we've got Wi-Fi settings so let's set up our Wi-Fi and pop our password in. So we are now connected to our Wi-Fi. We have to either agree or disagree to the privacy policy we click agree and we agree to the next one asking me if I have a Google account well for the purposes of this video I'm going to say no I'm going to pop that in later and we we'll skip that for now and then we can begin and we're presented with Android 4.4.2 with uh, the um, uh, Honor user interface over the top so it's a slightly changed user interface with really quite nice looking icons I do like that a lot Let's just uh, see how it feels, sort of swiping between screens. It feels okay. That's a nice looking screen as well. Even though this is only a 1280 by 720 resolution screen, I think that it's uh, looking nice and crisp. It seems to have nice colors. 
let's have a look at the pull down notification panel again really nicely laid out we go up to full brightness and actually actually see what this looks like at full brightness doesn't want to let me change the brightness here we go so it's just uh, got to pinpoint that little icon so we're now up to full brightness and it's a very nice vivid looking screen looks really nice indeed now you'll notice that we haven't got an app tray as such so all of our apps are primarily on these screens you can obviously organize them into folders as you can see here here's a google folder with plenty of bits pre-installed and don't forget this is as always a google play store supported device so we can install pretty much anything we want to this particular handset and it just looks a really nice screen i'm quite pleasantly surprised at how vivid this screen looks we've also obviously got the camera let's have a very quick look at the camera user interface uh, we could cancel on that for now so we've got a photo mode a video mode and also a beauty mode as well so we can actually sort of smooth out skin tones if we go back across the video let's tap on here so we have got some settings so we've got a resolution of video we can go up to 1080p on the video so that's really nice let's uh, go back one mode and pop it into photo we'll have a look at the photo settings just very quickly so photo resolution we can go all the way up to 13 megapixels and it's quite a nice interface actually for the camera i do like that so i'll be testing this camera within my full review as well to see how it performs but for the first sort of impressions it feels really nice in the hand it feels very very solid and i'm pleasantly surprised as to what you can get for under 150 pounds sim free this is a nice looking proposition if you're looking for a budget end google android smartphone so this is the honor 4x please do subscribe to the channel i'll bring you a full review of this smartphone in a future video thank you very much for watching please do hit like on this video as well and i'll see you all in the next one